Hi, it's Richard here again. In this video, I want to talk about the fireside chat. Now, the fireside chat is something that I reference a lot in courses. It's related to the minute after class technique for managing students. So, you know, let's say you're in a lesson and some student is acting up. One of the most powerful long-term strategies, rather than giving them the automatic detention or right, you've spoken for the third time, that means you've got 50 lines or you've got a lunchtime clean up, you know. It's much better if you can have a fireside chat with them, which might mean a minute after class or come on, we need, I need to see you at lunchtime. Now where this goes wrong, like the meeting, is where the teacher adopts the superior position and talks down to the kid. In other words, you've done the wrong thing, you know you're wrong, if you do it again, you know, what do you, what do you think you're doing? That type of attitude. That's not going to win anyone over. And this is where the fireside chat comes into it. So you need to find a place. Now you need to be careful here because you don't want a closed room, especially if with a student with the opposite, opposite sex. So, you know, if it's in a room, make sure the door's open or just be aware. Maybe it needs to be more in an open situation. But the important thing is this fireside chat idea where you are an equal with a student. You're playing a different role. You're the role of the teacher and the student's playing the role of the student, but you are both human beings and you're talking like I'm talking to you now. And it's very much like, let's say it's, you know, Jordan. Jordan, come on, what's going on? I've asked you to come to this meeting. Can you tell me why? And then to see what Jordan says. Or oh, you're always picking on me or whatever. And depending on what Jordan says, you can take it further. And so you have a discussion and say, look, I feel like I'm always on your case. I hear myself using your name in a negative connotation. Too often, does it annoy you? Because it annoys me. And have a conversation about that. And I've even said to students, look, I'm at a loss. You need to help me out here. Because I'm trying to be your teacher and, and you don't want me barking at you all the time. So I need you to help me out. What can I do? What can I do to help you do the right thing and lesson? Tell me, please. You know, I've, I've actually done that. And the kids always come up with something reasonable. Now, if the student's blocking you and, and clearly they're, they're not listening, that they, they don't want to be a part of this, then you say, look, Jordan, it looks like this is not the right time to have this conversation, but we have to have the conversation. So I'm going to call it now and tomorrow lunchtime, we're going to do this again or whenever. But this is not working right now because you're not listening to me. So just know that this is not over and we're going to, we're going to have this chat again. Because you can't, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So that's how you handle that situation. But the aim of the fireside chat is to get them on side, it is to build a bridge because you were at loggerheads and now there's a bit of this happening. And so then you can say, right, okay, next lesson, I'm going to do my best not to use your name negatively if you can do your best to do the right thing. How's that for a deal? Let's just see how it goes. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> And the students, I've had a lot of fireside chats with students, but I've never had one that hasn't felt good. But you've got to stand down from this superior position. You've got to be an equal. You've got to show the student that you like the student. You don't like the behavior, but you like the student. So that's a fireside chat. I found it really, really powerful. And it just makes sense. It's about restoring relationship with the students, it's about building rapport. It's about solving problems. It's about turning around a, a negative situation. Hope that helps. I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you next time.